What the? We can't hear. I'm sorry. I meant for y'all not to hear. Who said what the what? Mm -hmm, that's what I thought. Hello. How's everybody? Everybody turn your volumes on for a moment. Turn your cameras on. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Joyce. Good. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, how's everybody doing? Okay, guys, give me a minute. Trying to get some things together. All right. Woo! We're going to get through this together, y'all. I'll tell you. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a roll call. And if I don't say your, say your name correctly, I'm not trying to be mean, not trying to mess up your name, but I am going to learn how to say your name. Even if we got to do a one-on-one -on -one call, and I think I'm going to do some people one-on-one -on -one call, because they're going to say their name over and over. Of course, people say my name incorrectly all the time, and I just laugh. I'm still here, y'all. Let me get these paperwork together. I'm still with you guys. Just give me a couple of minutes. I think Canvas was acting crazy earlier. All right, can I get everybody? to turn your cameras on. Just turn your cameras on. Do not turn your um, volume on yet. Everybody turn your cameras on. And once I call the roll, once I call your name, uh, I'm going to ask you if I pronounced it right or if I didn't, please give me the correct pronunciation. Okay? All right. We're going to go over some rules in just a minute. So, do I have Derek Avilia? Here. Okay, Derek. William Bilbury? Hold on. William? No William yet. Hold on, guys. Don't get my... All oh, my pins, I have some. I'm still with you guys. Let me use this one. So William's not here. Do I have Alfonso Castro? I'm here. Okay. David uh, Kuto De La Cruz. I'm here. Giselle Kuto Javier. Giselle. Marie. Hannah, say your last name, Marie. Marie, Marie, are you out here? Uh, is it Nefertali? Yes. Okay, and I'll make sure. Okay, Kenny, where's Kenny at? I'm here. All right, Kenny. Do I have, is it Ayana? Yes. Oh, did I say it right? Yes. Oh, no. 
Okay, all right. Now look, mind y'all, I say it right once, uh, one minute, then the next minute I say it wrong. So y'all know just overlook me. Do I have Damien McIntosh? I'm right here. All right. What's up, Matt? The child out of Matt? Is it Na Nazaya? It's Nazaya. Nazaya? Yes. Okay. Eventually I get it right, sweetheart. Okay, is it Tasia Wan? Tasia Wan? <laughs> is it Tasia Wan? Tasia Wan? Nope. Melanie? He Melanie? Right okay, all right. Melanie Lamarck, you better you better speak up, girl. All right, so Melanie's here. Shamil. I'm here. All right, Shamil. Alexi. Here. Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh is it Yenny? Here. Did I say it did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna have some one on ones with y'all so I can make sure. Uh Juan, do I have Juan Ramirez Mendez? Juan, I see you up there. Say hey Juan. Uh Noel. All right. Noel. Here. All right. Sahari. Zahari. Do I have Zahari? No Zahari. Okay. Do I have, is it Jamani? Jamani? No Jamani? Okay. Adriana? Andrea? Yeah. All right, right. Where Adriana is? Oh, I'm Adriana. My sister's here. Adriana, where's uh, Andrea? I see Andrea. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Deanna? Who, who called me? Who called me? Uh, William. Yeah, William, you bet. Uh, yes, William, I'm what here. time is something on here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, you better know. Okay, all right. All right. My bad. I, mean, I love you. Y'all like I'm supposed to be crazy. This is the first day. Yes, you, you better. Uh, Deanna. Um, Isaiah Cooper. Jacob Gray. Is it? Hi. I'm here. Okay. Oh, Jacob, I saw you right there. I'm sorry, baby. Do you have Isaiah Cooper? Deanna Allman? I'll get y'all in a minute, y'all. Let me see what this is. Okay, do I have, is it Nevea Saunders? I see Nevea right there in my face. That's a lot. Hey, is it Nevea? Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. Is it Ajahani? How you say it? Ajani? How you say it? West. Is there Ajani West? Okay, everybody. All right. My name is Miss Hargrave, and you are in the career management class uh, for 2020 uh, and 2021 school year. Uh, I am a Lexington native. I actually am an alumni of Lexington High School, so I do have much jacket pride. I am very proud of our school and what we represent. And you're going to see me put some lip gloss on. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are going to try. Last uh, last class, I could not show some things because some things were not working, and um, so we just had to go from there. But let me see if I can pull a couple things up. What I do require is if everybody will have your cameras on. So can I get everybody to put your cameras on and mute yourself? Okay, so give me a minute. Y'all hold tight, okay, everybody? So 
bear with me. I'm still here with you guys. Go back. I'm still here. I'm just trying to do a couple things. Okay, so every day, what I would normally do is I would call the road. And I know some of you probably may not be on when I call the road, but I'll try to go back and look uh, on on the chart and see who's on there. Or you can send me like a little chat and say, Ms. Hargrave, I'm here. But our class, we, are, we will be meeting every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Our class time will be 10.15 until 11.15. So you are required to show up every day at 10.15 and stay on till 11.15 unless I instruct you otherwise. Fridays will be a day uh, if you have not completed your work with me or uh, if you need some type of remediation or help, you will be required to come on Fridays. Sometimes on Fridays, I will assign a test and you will take it on a Friday. I'm shooting forward to do it on Thursdays, but sometimes it will be on Fridays. But just note that our regular class times are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays from 10.15 until 11.15. And you are required to be on here. Okay, so let me get see if I can get my PowerPoint to work today. I can't get it to work I'm um, like I wanted to earlier. Give me a moment, guys. If everybody, if, make sure your uh, sound is on mute. Please make sure that your sound is on mute. I am going to try to see if I can get this PowerPoint to show. Okay, can everybody see the PowerPoint? Somebody say yes. Yes. All right, thank you. All right, so again, this is career uh, management. So hopefully you are in the right class. I want to say I welcome you and I'm so glad that you're here and we're gonna have a great class and we're gonna do some fun things and you're gonna learn some great and valuable uh, tools that you'll be able to take with you uh, into college and beyond. Course description. This course prepares students to locate, secure, keep, and change careers. Emphasis is placed on self-assessment of characteristics, interests, and values. Education and career exploration, evaluation of career information, and creation of a career plan. Based on the National Career Development Guidelines, skills learned in this course include, but are not limited to communications, interpersonal skills, problem solving, personal management, and teamwork. English language arts is reinforced. Student participation in career and technical student organization, which is abbreviated CTSO. Competitive events, community service, and leadership activities provide the opportunity to apply essential standards and workplace readiness skills throughout, excuse me, through authentic experiences. I am very big on what you call SMART goals. 
SMART goals. The S is for, for Pacific. The M stands for measurable. A is attainable. R is relative. And T is time bound. When I say S is specific, I mean what we will be doing will be specific to our, uh, it's going to be related to our Pacific daily lessons. Measurable. Our work will be measured by our criteria for success and class percentages. Attainable means all students will be required to attain completion of all daily work. Relative, our work relates to the 21st century industry standards. And everything time bound means all work will and must be completed timely. Rules and regulations. When you come uh, on to our class time every day, your cameras must be on during the entire class time. If you need to step away for a moment, send me a chat privately, say I need to go you know, run to the rest bathroom or something, but your camera must be on because when I take classes, they, they require me to have my camera on because anybody can have the camera up and you could be sleeping. Just because we're at home, you must still have an appropriate place and you must act appropriately. Uh, also, keep, in, keep your sound on mute until you are instructed to unmute. Uh, unexcused parties or absences are unacceptable. Cell phones should not be visible during class. I know you're at home, you got your cell phone, but it should be, I don't want you to have it up in your face. I don't want you to have it up in the camera. Uh, unapproved internet use is prohibited. That means going to YouTube or other video sites unless I instruct you to during class time. Refrain from eating while you are online. Uh, I didn't put it in there, but make sure y'all guys are looking presentable. I know that we're at home and it's very relaxed and uh, I like being at home and I'm pretty sure most of you do as well. But please make sure that you're dressed appropriately. Um, don't be looking like yeah, I mean, I know we want to be home relaxed, but y'all going to have to act like you're in school and act like you're also in a work environment. You have to keep yourselves uh, ready at all times. Uh, no disruptive behavior, including singing and also no sleeping. I know it's early in the morning. We're just trying to get back to the swing of things, so I do understand that. But one of my pet peeves, make sure your camera's on. Uh, cell phones are out, are not visible, and that you're dressed appropriately. And I don't want any disruptions too much in the background. Uh, objectives that we're going to cover: we're going to do, uh, we're going to understand personal social development. We're going to understand education, achievement, and lifelong learning. And we're also going to understand career management. So we're going to do three objectives. We're going to cover three objectives, but in those objectives, we have a whole lot of standards we're going to cover. Materials needed. If you don't have it now, don't stress over it. If you just have the, the simple things like notebook or notebook paper, it'll get you through. But I would like for you to have a three ring binder, something to write with, whether you're pen or pencil, both, uh, a flash drive. I'm hearing some noise in the background. If y'all can hear it. Uh, also, college rule notebook or paper. So make sure you have this. Grading, you see what the grading looks like. My homework counts for 10%. Projects are 20%. Quizzes are 20%. Tests are 50%. You see our grading scale? If you get an A, you're between the range of a 90 to 100. If you get a B, you're between an 80 to 89. C is 70 to 79. D is 60 to 69. And, and F, which no one should be getting, will be a 59 and below. Are there any questions or uh, concerns at this time? No. Okay. No. All right, all right. I'm gonna come back so I can see y'all beautiful and handsome faces. All right. So let's go here. Uh, also, I want to um, go over and guys, again, if you come on, let me see who I didn't have. If you come on and know I didn't call, if you don't remember me calling your name, you need to message me and say, Miss Hargrave, I am here. Uh, and just a little bit, I'm going to send something to your email, but I'll let you know when I send it. By now, everybody, does everybody know how to go to Canvas? Does everybody know how to go to Canvas? 
Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like for you. When you go to Canvas right now, I'll, every day I want you to check Canvas. Every day I want you to check Canvas. I also want you to check your school email every day. Uh, let's see. Can someone? Hey, Mrs. Glass. Hold on. Ms. Glass, Mr. Willahan, Mr. Hudson, and Mr. Stone, the report to make author. Ms. Glass, Ms. Hunt, Mr. Houlihan, Mr. Hudson, Mr. Stone, the report to make author. And now uh, Ms. Barrow. Thank you. Okay, can someone go to Canvas right now and tell me if you can see announcements? Because you may not be able to see it. Somebody tell me if they can view, if they can go in, into announcements and see what I have up there. I can. You say you can. Yes, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Not that y'all don't know what y'all doing, but Google Meets is new for me, so I want to see. Hopefully, y'all can see what I see. Y'all might not be able to see what I can see. I don't think y'all can. I don't think you're able to way. Okay, so what uh, I want y'all guys to go into Canvas, check your announcement. I have a welcome students on there that's telling you uh, just a snippet about the class. Your second announcement says I can type blank WPM. WPM stands for words per minute. By now, you should have received an email from me uh, asking you to sign up uh, for typing.com. I want you to sign up for typing.com under the career management class. It, it, there's a link that I sent uh, with that email, and it'll take you straight to you'll create a new account. And uh, our class is career management. You will begin at the beginner level. This is something that you can do on your own. And sometimes I will instruct you during class time to do it. I have reported. Let me see how good you're typing, what you need to work on. And the reason that I want you to do the typing.com, because I think it's essential for anyone um, to be able to know how to type, not just with one little hand, one little peck. Because when you type, when you are accurate, you should be able to type without looking at the keyboard. And because you guys are going to go into jobs where you're going to have to use, uh, just because right now you type and uh, you use your iPads, your phones or whatever, you still need to know how to type, not with just that one finger. And I want to prepare you for the real world. So that's what you must um, be ready for. So you're typing.com. I want to make sure that you're on there. Also, there is another announcement, quizzes. I, I sent you an email, I think, about signing up for quizzes. If not, go on to the announcements, which says quizzes, sign up. And I sent, there's a link here on announcements that you need to sign up for quizzes because we'll be using that along with other things like Quizlet and also Kahoot. But for right now, make sure you check all your announcements. If there's any links in those announcements, you need to make sure that you sign up. So right now, you also should be, you should have gotten an email about Remind. If you have not signed up for Remind, you need to get signed up for Remind by tomorrow. It's not an option. It is mandatory. So when I tell you I want you to do something, it's not an option. So you need to make sure you sign up for quizzes. You need to make sure you sign up for Remind because that's another form, a uh, uh, way that we'll be communicating. And anytime I have an aha moment and I think of something or you may, I'm, I'm going to shoot it out there to you. So you need to be signed up for Remind, Quizzes, and Typing.com. These are all things that you need to be signed up for uh, immediately. Also, uh, modules. If everybody is in Canvas right now, uh, you see it says 8-17-2020 and 8-18-2020. Your in introduction to career management, we've already went over that PowerPoint, but I want you to go over it again. We're going to go over the vision and mission statement. I also want you to show that to your parents. Student expectations, we're going to go over. Uh, we're going to go over how to do the assignments, the typing lessons as well. If you look in Canvas, it'll say syllabus. On the left-hand side, after home, it'll say syllabus. I want you guys to bring up that syllabus. 
I want you to review it with your parents or guardian. If you have a way of printing that syllabus, I need you to print the syllabus. I need you to sign it. I need you to date it. I need your parent to sign it and I need them to date it. Then you screenshot me where you both signed it. Just screenshot me the little area where you signed it. You both signed it. I am counting the syllabus as a quiz grade. So the syllabus will be counted as a quiz grade. So I want to make sure that you sign up, um, get that done uh, at least by Friday. Get that syllabus uh, signed by you, by you and both your parents. By Friday, screenshot it to me, send it by email, the screenshot, so I can give you uh, credit for that. And I will be checking. And if I don't have it by Friday, by Monday, by probably by Friday evening, I'll be emailing you and letting you know uh, I want to know what's going on. So every day, make sure that you check Canvas. You should be working at Canvas every day. So every day, you are required to come on to Canvas. You're required to check announcements. You're required to check your personal email every day because I'll send things. I may not send something every day, but you need to get in the habit of checking your email. So Canvas email, you need to check every day to so make sure you check the, uh, and if I have any announcements, anything like that. Uh, so what we're going to do right now, I want to go over, if I can, bear with me a moment, guys. And guys, make sure that I'm seeing uh, your face on the computer screen and make sure that y'all uh, being as attentive as possible because that goes a long way with my grading. If you're not being attentive, then that means your grade is not going to look um it's so good. Um, I know that we're trying to get back in the swing of things of being in school, and I do understand that. So I am very, uh, I, I'm very under, uh, understanding, and I know sometimes that we have issues. And I want you to know if you have anything going on, you are always welcome to email me, and I will get back with you. I am here for you. I'm not just a teacher giving you information, giving you homework, giving you projects. Uh, I am here for you if you need some assistance. But I, while we're in class, we're going to conduct ourselves like we're in person, okay? Just because we're at home, we're not going to be relaxed and shellaxed to where we're not learning because your grade depends on how well you do as far as participate, uh, participation and how attentive that you are. Um, I'm going to try to pull up, if I can... Uh, this other thing, so give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to get some things worked out. Oh, no. Let me not share. Let's see what I got. Hold up. I'm gonna take some stuff off so I can show you what I need to show you. Do, 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 do. Okay, can everybody see this? Can somebody tell me yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is our vision and our mission statement. Here at Lexington Senior High School, we have a vision and a mission statement. And if you look right now, uh, I bet probably just about everybody would love to be out on the water uh, on a boat. Maybe not this particular boat. We might want to be on a cruise ship, but we would love to be on the water. But I set up this vision and mission statement so you'll know what we're, uh, what our goal is and what we're striving for. So this is our vision and mission statement. We're going to go over it again tomorrow. And I would like for you to know what your vision and your mission statement is. Our vision statement, we're about excellence and diversity. Here at Lexington Senior High School, we strive to be in an educational environment in which all students are challenged to reach their maximum potential on a daily basis. Excellence is expected and diversity is celebrated. Again, ex excellence is expected. So I don't expect anything less out of you than excellence. I don't expect anything less out of you than great work. 
Diversity is celebrated. We're not all the same. We're not all from the same background or culture, but uh, different diversities make a great community. And that's what we're striving for here at Lexington Senior High School. Now our mission statement, we're about being lifelong learners, critical thinkers, and productive citizens. Here at Lexington Senior High School, we want to prepare our students to become lifelong learners. And what do I mean by lifelong learners, William? William, are you there? Yes. yes. Okay, so what do you think a lifelong learner is, William? A uh, lifelong learner. I don't know. You know, lifelong I'm not learners. I'm going to something I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. But think about it. Lifelong learners. That means lifelong learners, meaning just because when you get out of high school or you get out of college, you stop learning or you stop wanting to learn. Life is about learning. You are learning throughout your whole entire life. And nobody on here should ever want to stop learning. I don't want to stop learning. That's why I keep going and going back to school and, and I uh, take uh, part in, in professional development because I want to keep learning. I am about steady learning and that's what you should be about. So here at Lexington Senior High School, we want you to, to be lifelong learners. We want you to be critical thinkers. We want you to put some thought in things and, and question, okay, well, why does this have to be like this? And we also want you to be productive citizens in today's global society to foster value in service learning opportunities. That means when we give a service to others and we want you to build a sense of commitment to your school and to the community in which you live. So again, the mission statement, we're going to go over uh, again on tomorrow. I want you to learn about your, your mission and your vision. Vision is what we're looking to do. Mission is what we are doing, is what we're putting into effect, okay? So we went over um, the syllabus via PowerPoint. We went over our mission and our um, vision statement. Now I want to go over, if you give me a moment, if everybody can make sure guys are going back to me, and it's okay. Um, Okay, so we're gonna go back. Somebody, somebody, make sure that you, uh, William, did you go back on mute? I do. you want me to stay off mute? What? You, I like for you to be on camera. Just make sure you're on mute for me. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, William is one of uh, is has has been one of my students before, and he is a very smart person. Um. I'm gonna go over student expectations. I think you probably already have it, should have it, but I'm gonna go over it again. Now, daily expectations, Monday through Thursday. Again, our class will meet Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You need to sign in the classroom daily. You need to stay connected uh, until you stay connected until I say, okay, guys, you're welcome to work, work on your own. And when I tell you that, then, then you're free to log off. But you stay logged on until the teacher instructs you to log off. You need to complete and submit all daily assignments as instructed by your teacher. Complete the attendance quiz. Every day I'll have an attendance quiz. Daily expectations on Fridays. Students will be expected to work independently. That means on your own, on assignments that are assigned to you that you haven't finished during the week. Complete quizzes. Sometimes you'll have tests on Fridays. Then I'll say, okay, on Friday you take the test. And attend scheduled um, office hours with your teacher if you need help. Now, in that little block, it says all assignments must be completed and submitted by 10 p.m. Sunday. But if I give you an assignment and I give you a date, that's what I want to do. But there are they do that you extend it to Sunday. I'm not necessarily going to do that, but I will be lenient and try to help you the most way possible. You need to make sure that you have a dependable Internet access. Uh, if you don't have it, get in contact with the district, the school. Um, to get set up with that. Make sure that you have a laptop, a Chromebook, a desktop computer that you can use if you don't have uh, the um, that equipment. Get in contact with school because we're giving out laptops, Chromebooks. Uh, quiet, make sure that your area is quiet. Just works, uh, you keep your, um, your uh, workspace, let, uh, I guess, organized. Uh, make sure that 
you are being productive in your workspace. You need to make sure that create balance by taking opportunities to work offline, upload tasks, demonstrate learning of completion of assignments. You need to follow the code of conduct. You make sure that you communicate with me. If there's any problem you're having with the assignment or you can't get something done, just shoot me an email. Anything, if you're trying to sign up for Remind quizzes and it's not working, shoot me an email. Miss Hargrave is always here for you. Even after the eight to four hours, just shoot me an email and I will get back with you. I want you to know that I'm here for you and I'm here for you to make you strive, to make you a better student and to make you grow. Uh, also, when you're online, you need to have some uh, adequate. We just don't do everything that we would normally do if the camera wasn't on. So make sure that you're looking good, you're being attentive, your work area is clean. I don't want to see stuff going on. You know, somebody having a party in the back, you got to make sure that you are straight. Because just because we're not face-to-face uh, -face where I can touch you, you're still in a, in a learning environment and you must make sure that you're doing, having learning etiquette, okay? You must wear appropriate attire for school. Uh, make sure that you don't have any vulgar language on your t-shirts. Uh, make sure that you're not using inappropriate language because I do not play that whether we're doing remote learning or we're doing in-person learning. Ms. Hargrave does not play that. Make sure if I ask you or we have agreed to attend some class time on Fridays that you show up. Don't have me coming online and you don't show up. Be patient with yourselves and be patient with me. We're all learning together. This new thing of solely working online is new for you, is new for me. Everything is not going to work all together when we think it should. Yeah, also helpful hints, uh, suggestions, use Google Calendar to organize your classes to help you develop a schedule each day. Contact your guidance counselor if you're feeling overwhelmed or someone you need to talk to. And again, I am always here for you. If you look on Canvas, I need everybody to make sure that you're on Canvas right now. I have what I have for you. Uh, let me get to y'all class. I got the wrong class. So. I think I originally had y'all class up. Bear with me. Okay. So in Canvas, uh, make sure that you check your announcements. I have some things up there for you in announcements. Okay. So make sure you every day you check Canvas. You must be in Canvas every day. Make sure you check your announcements. There may not be a daily announcement every day, but it's your responsibility to check your announcements. It's your responsibility to go to modules. Modules are where we'll be doing a lot of our work. Like today, we've already went over the PowerPoint, the mission statement, student expectations. We will go over it again tomorrow because I want to make sure that you guys got it. Also, if you look for uh, instructions, it'll say instructions for 8-17-2020. The first thing you should do every day is click on that day's date to see what we'll be doing and read that. Then I need you to go back to our discussion. It'll say discussion 8-17-2020. This is an assignment that you need to have completed by the end of the day. Our uh, discussion says, what do you think career management is all about? Simply, you need to give me at least three to four sentences of what you think career management will be about, and you'll hit the submit button, okay? So make sure that you get this done. Every day, you will have a discussion topic, so you must complete a discussion topic. For this week, usually on my discussions, excuse me, for my discussion topics, I normally like for you to post your information, your answers, and then you reply. Um, to a student, but for this week, I'm only letting you put your information in and resubmit it to me. Starting next week, you will have to post to whatever discussion I put up, and then you will have to reply to one of your students. So you'll find one of your students, uh, your classmates to reply to, and then you will reply back to them, and it's not gonna be, okay, yeah, yeah, I like that. No, you're gonna say, okay, I like that that idea that you had, or whatever, they, you read what they wrote, and then you comment, and you will also give your opinion. But it must be positive feedback. Anytime you respond back to a classmate's work, 
make sure that you are being positive. We don't want any negative vibes in our uh, class. We're not going to have that. And don't make fun of what somebody writes because that's their opinion. You just, you're just responding back. Here in career management and in Ms. Hargrave's class, we're about teamwork. We're about positive vibes. If you're not going to be positive, then this might not be the class for you. So we're going to be positive. We're going to be uh, learning to do teamwork, and we're going to help one another, and we're going to uh, motivate and inspire one another. So we're not going to have any negative actions or words in this classroom, okay? So make sure today I want you to do your discussion. Make sure you get that discussion done. It's in modules. Um, so we went over. Make sure that when you come in, your camera is on. Uh, also, again, under syllabus, make sure you read that syllabus you, with your parent or guardian and make sure that you uh, print it, screenshot your signature, their signature, and send it to me via email. I am getting ready to send you guys. If y'all want to, you guys can go ahead, stay on, but you can put your uh, turn your cameras off. Go ahead into Canvas. Go ahead into Canvas and do the uh, discussion topic for today and get that done. I am going to send you a an email. So check your email by five by ten minutes. I'm gonna send you an email. And I'm going to have like two little questions on there. I want you to answer it and send it back to me via email, okay? So do you understand what you're supposed to do right now? You need to go to Canvas under Modules, do discussion topic, get that done. And just a few minutes, I'm going to send you an email. And I want you to send that to What? Okay. So you go to Canvas. Okay. And then you go to Modules. All right. Okay. Under modules, make sure you read where it says instructions for 817. You need to read that. And then discussion 817 2020. Make sure that you do that discussion topic. You just type the information in there, use complete sentences, send it back to me. It'll be a submit button and say submit. Then type so, and also under announcements, y'all need to check your announcements. Make sure you're signed up with quizzes, typing.com. And remind, make sure you check all your emails because I'm going to be checking for that this evening to make sure y'all guys got y'all reminded. Oh, okay, so go ahead and do your discussion. I'm going to send you an email. The email that I send to you uh, in a few minutes, make sure you send that email back to me with your answers, okay? okay. And if you guys have any questions, I'll be here throughout the day. Send me an email, okay? Gotcha. So everybody what stay online. Just put your cameras on so you can... <laughs> Get the discussion topic done because we don't leave here until eleven fifteen. So you you'll have your discussion um thing done before you leave, and you'll probably have the um thing I sent through email. You'll have that done. So let me do let me get it together, okay? But I'll be listening, so you can send me, you can ask me questions if you need to. Again, do I have is did Giselle show up? Giselle, are you here? Giselle, Marie, uh, Tajawan, Zahari, Zahari, uh, the Jamani, the Jamani show up, Diana, Isaiah, and Ajani. Okay. And I'm also going to send some of y'all. I want to make sure. Um, let me see. Send y'all um, like a Google a Google Meet. Um, some of y'all on Friday. I'm going to send some of y'all like a thing. So I'm going to make sure that I'm pronouncing y'all names correctly. I may send you an email in a few minutes so we can meet. Because I'll make sure I'm doing everything correctly. <laughs> Uh, 
somebody uh, make sure y'all mute yourselves. Thank you. Three. Shamil, I think I had you in my other class, didn't I? I had you for sports entertainment marketing, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Zahari, I thought I saw Zahari. Are you on here? I thought I saw you earlier. Zahari, uh, Zahari, Zahari Sullivan. I thought I saw her on here earlier. And Jacob, Jacob, I will respond back to you in just a little bit. Give me a few. Uh, let me see what's going on. What are your thoughts? And because this is the first day, it may be just a little bit before I get back with you, but I will do I will get back with you as time as possible today. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to send this email and I need you to respond to the two questions and put your information in there and send the email back to me. Uh, Jacob, did you get... Let me see. Jacob, I'm going to send you... Give me a minute. I'm going to send you back. I'm going to send you... Uh, Share a link. 
I think there's something wrong with the thing. Okay. Jacob, I'm going to send you something. It's going to be come from my phone. Jacob, okay. tell me, um, what's your uh, school email? Oh, you what are you doing? Let me see, Jake. Hold on, Jake. I think I can pull it up. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm going to send it to you, J-A-C-O. It'll come. This is going to come from my personal email. Come from my iPhone. So, six, five, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Jacob, check your email and see if you got it. Okay. And let me see. Okay, let's see. Class code. It should be a link. Once you sign with that link, it should take you to that. I got it. Okay. And um, Adriana, my sign is working. Uh, Adriana, you said your um, it's a safe. Hopefully, it's the same information that you've been using. To sign in. Huh? Um. Yeah. Uh, my sign in isn't. Your sign is isn't working. Try. Uh, it should be the same information that you've used. Uh, let me check. Let me see. I may have to email you. Uh, but check the email that I sent you with that question. Go ahead and answer that. So you, so right now you can't get into Canvas, can you? No. Let okay, me find out. Hold, hold on. Can't get into Canvas. Sign in. Oh. It's not working. Okay, so Adrian, you can't get in. And, uh, who would just who would just say something? Somebody would just talk. What would you say? Uh, okay, what would you say, Jacob? I can't, I can't get in the canvas either. Okay, you can't get in. The can uh, it should. You know what? Something was going on with canvas. What's it saying when y'all tried? What's it saying? It's it's just saying it ain't working. It's not working. It said okay, your class ain't what? published. Huh? It said your class ain't published yet. Okay, let me go in. I thought I published. I did publish it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I told y'all. Look, we working on this thing together. We're going to get it together. So everything is not going to be, you know, we're not going to be perfect. But we're going to work through it together. Because y'all, Google Meets is new for me. Because I'm still learning Google Meets. Uh, let me see. What's going on, sweetheart? So it says that mine is not real management. Let me look at some. My people. I bet you. I think I know what it is. Hold on. Let me go back. Let's go to modules. I know what it is. I think I know it is. Okay. Ah. No, I um for for the modules. Did y'all go in the modules? Somebody is somebody in modules. Can somebody go to modules right now? I'm in. Okay, on, on your modules, uh, mm -hmm. is it letting you go go open up anything where it says under eight seventeen twenty twenty and eight eighteen? You see where it says discussion eight seventeen. Is yes. it letting you open that up? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, what do you think career management is all about? Okay, so that was that was working. Okay, okay, okay. Make sure go back and look at the one above it. It says instructions for eight seventeen. So look at that. Um, let me see. Jacob, you say you still can't get into Canvas. The first thing you should do every day is click the yeah, day. Yeah, this good think. for me. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, again, so Jacob, it won't let you into Canvas. Yes, ma'am. Log all the way back out. I think Canvas was down, y'all. Canvas was down for everybody. 
But let me write your name down because I may have to send something over to see what's going on. Y'all got to take but I'm good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you send the email to me? Okay. So, Jacob, are you trying to sign back on now? Yes, ma'am. So, it's still not working? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Jacob's not working. Adriana's not working. Mine's not either. Uh, Damien, yours not either? No. I don't know. What's, I'm going to tell y'all that I think well, first class, I didn't know. It. I thought it was something on my end, but it's statewide. Uh, Canvas is not working. But let me shoot some emails and see what's going on, and I'll let y'all know because it, it may be the end of the day before they get it worked out. But even if you don't get to do discussion question until, say, this evening or tomorrow, by tomorrow, hopefully everything will be working, you can still turn it in because I don't have it set like that. Um, let me see. But everybody, did everybody get that email I sent? I just sent y'all an email. So open up that email, answer, it's two questions. And I need y'all to answer those two questions and then send it back through email. Let me look and see, who am I missing? Again, I'm, I'm gonna call the roll. If y'all know that, Y'all weren't here when I called the road. Y'all need to get in contact with me. Um, Giselle. Is Giselle here? Ty Jawan. Zahari. Jamani. Deanna. Isaiah. And Ajani. Okay. So. Make sure... Did y'all respond back to that email? Send that email back to me. I'll get to see, I'll see what's going on with Canvas. I think Canvas is still having issues. So that's probably why you're not able, everybody's not able to get in there. So um, make sure y'all respond back to that email. Get that email sent back to me as soon as possible. And I will send y'all guys the email, let y'all know about Canvas later. That email. Okay, I see uh, Neftali, I see Shamil. I think that's it for right now. I'm thinking of anybody. It but is it'll come through. It, did I have... Uh, I think that's it for right now. But I check. I will check, guys. And if I see I don't have something, I'll let y'all know. Don't sweat it. Y'all just have a good day. Have a good remainder of the day, and I will see y'all guys. But I'll probably be responding back to some of y'all after seeing your e emails. But I'll see y'all guys on tomorrow at 10 15. Okay, God, all right, love y'all. Sign off. Yeah. Bye bye.